a spacious unit. And you like to put your incision through that? I, I well, sometimes. Okay. I, that's off culture. I just don't do anything with it, and I don't. Yeah, this is, so these are like little oil gloves, so they kind of mm -hmm. have oil in them. Oh, yeah. Make sure I'm not hurting at all, okay? So I'll squeeze some of the stuff out of them, but then we'll try to um, take out the little sack wall there. But again, like I said, make sure I'm not hurting you, okay? They're like little pieces of, I always, it always makes me think like, oh, I should make soap or something like that. <laughs> oh my God. I know, I'm sick. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, it does look like soap, guys. It does. That's so funny. Body wash. Yes, yes, it is. So you okay? I'm not oh, hurting. yeah. Let me just put a little pinch there. I just feel like these are bigger that I need to put one on the end of this. Sorry. Pinch your sorry, maybe. Because okay. I'm going to get that little sack. Let's see how well that's going to come out. But you're going to become a, a very special guest. People are going to get all excited to see you. Oh, boy. <laughs> You'll probably never see it, but everybody else will. Yeah, trust me, I won't be looking. This is the little sack. Well, sometimes you're okay, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. you'll find like a little pocket of still having a little steatosis stoma there, but I, sometimes I can tug it and it can mm -hmm. all come out. Yeah, sometimes there's a double next to it too. And then we see the beautiful contour of your, we're going to see your six pack. It's coming back. <laughs> Can you turn that music off for me, Dan? Thank you. You okay? Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay. So these are going to have a little bit of a bigger sack. Nothing that we can't handle, but they can't really easily just be kind of ask. Uh, wiggled out mm -hmm. so you can see oh, that's just still a has more soap that keeps on giving yeah don't you feel special like that <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great you okay yeah, yeah you. you're you're tough i can see even though you don't love this stuff as long as you're not seeing it you're okay i'm good yeah okay. Okay, see it's nice and flat. Yeah. Sometimes with these big ones, I might put a little stitch, but we'll see. I think I think uh, even with, and I'll, I'll sometimes I'll give you a little antibiotic, see, because sometimes there could be something hidden under there. Mm -hmm. They're like almost like um, I liken it to kelp that you see at the beach, like you know the little kelp there. You have the little pods that are all mm. kind of connected like grapes. It kind of looks oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine a lot of these look like grapes. They have like little stems that are connecting each one. Interesting. So sometimes if I still have some trapped under there, you probably had one of these that have gotten inflamed before, huh? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they can get inflamed. Though, actually, I will say that sometimes if I leave a little part of one in there, I haven't really had people call say that they got inflamed. So hmm. okay. sometimes if I can't even get the sack, I don't necessarily see it coming back. But we might put a stitch in there. Let me look at this next one and see how it goes first. Let's see how they are. Are you okay, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I've gone to one yeah. doctor and they were going to suggest this drug and but you had to sign this thing. Uh, like a, like an injection? No, no, like a medication where it's like a cycle and has to be approved by something. And oh, maybe like Accutane? For, yeah, yeah, it's like Accutane. Like I had to sign this release because it, even though it's for pregnant women. And, yeah. well, you can't <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I was like, what's this for? But I had to sign it. And I was like, hmm. Yeah, that, that's probably the eye pledge that you were doing, which is like, it's actually a pretty common medication that we're t you're talking about that is actually pretty safe. It just has a lot, sorry, numbing here, a lot of checks and balances in it, and it's used mm. to treat acne. But I actually don't think it would do that much for you other than if you're getting like active new ones. But a lot of times people get this mainly when they're in their teenage year, yeah, young just, at 20s, yeah. like more hormonal because they are true oil glands, sis. Mm -hmm. So I think you get more when your oil glands are kind of more active, which is when you're a teenager. So you can see that my rate limiting step here is how long these take me, but also how long my hand lasts in terms of being able to pinch. Like I've multiple times asked to devise one of these that can really lock. Mm. Um, so idea. I don't have to squeeze. Yeah. But I um, haven't found an ideal one yet. I've been looking. Well, I 
think, even so far, I've only done three, and you've been so well behaved, you made it a lot easier. And also, your, of your, of your, ch ch your, your um, abdomen already. Right. So it's responding well. Well, you'll see these, you will see that actually these are like, like for example, the first one we saw, mm -hmm. it was pretty, that was a lot of stuff under there. Mm -hmm. And it really did make it, you, you forget how like actually concave that area is. And so when you take it off, you're like, wow, look at the beautiful contour of his uh, I can't chest. Remember. So it's I would impressive. hate taking my shirt off to yeah. go to you know, swim and stuff. Yeah, I know it's tough. I was telling Dr. Lanning here how these these are in particular are so people are so grateful to have these taken off oh, because yeah. it's really you feel very helpless because they taunt you almost they're like right yeah. there yet you can't get to them yeah people are like what's wrong with them you know what if it's yeah, like you know like, and you try to get people to help you but you can't yeah it's hard to get help right so she's going to be the steatus stomach queen of the east coast <laughs> yeah Ooh. everybody go see dr leanne Awesome. How do you say your last name, Young? Like it's like two syllables? Young. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I think I say it like yeah, I'm an Asian Kwame and I'm Chinese. I better say it somehow. I know. The way, I also, but I also. You also say it like yeah, you American must, up and yeah. recognized. How do they say Liang. it? Liang. Liang. Okay, that's what I figured. And you're from Massachusetts. That's good. Yes, yes. I love that. Uh oh, are you a Patriots fan too? Oh, yeah. oh okay, good. Fine. Too much drama. I like you now. Oh, oh yeah, too much drama. Yes. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry. Bit. I'm sorry. I just pulled on the lower part of it. I apologize. Let me see if I can get this off. About that. So for you, um, Miss uh, Janet, yeah. I'm thinking about whether I should put a little stitch in at least that top one there. I might. Do you have somebody near you that can take a stitch out? Or you probably could take a stitch out, but I don't know. If you don't like to look at these, you might not like to even take yeah. out a stitch. Can I just, can I go to my doctor? I'm gonna yeah, yeah, or you can come see us. I was just trying to save you a visit, like, you know, this is the little EVHC mm -hmm. there. I'm not the Bella's hair assist. I'm trying to make it. I'm that one, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is this the little black ones? Yeah, the little ones, sometimes they are kind of fun. I hope you have a fun one. You had fun other ones, so. <laughs> sometimes they pop out. I just have to get, it's almost like they wiggle, they, mm -hmm. they move under the skin and I have to get right over it. Sometimes I, I kind of pierce them with this and it pops out. Oh yeah. But sometimes they'll pop out if I just like went through it. So it's going to not come out of one piece. See that? Oh, well, looks like right? a little green. I told you, you don't believe I me. I do believe you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, wow, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, wow. Just like that. But she has. You're doing so awesome again. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I actually can't wait to show you. Right? Soap, people. Soap. We're making soap, soap people. <laughs> I wanted to make a candle or oh, candles oh that God. says, this smells like my cyst. Oh, no. <laughs> right? That's pretty good. You know, yes. Buy it. <laughs> they were. Oh if you gosh. couldn't do the one that was that that smells like your, you know, cookie, then you can do that, right? Then Gwyneth Paltrow, come on, guys, you know what too I'm talking funny. about. Too funny. <laughs> uh, if I, I can, if I can that. say that that's where it is from, you know, then uh, hey. I, I can also do a Christmas one. It could be Merry Christmas. You know, I have all these <laughs> ideas. I'm full of it, as my husband says. Actually, you're actually responding very well other than these being big bigger um, they are coming out I just trying to get them without hurting you obviously and trying to get them completely so as you can see I use these serratus as I'm gonna try to wiggle because a lot of times Perfect size that's a little smaller than mm -hmm. this, they will really pop out mm -hmm. if you do a little wiggle. Awesome. Moving right along, we're in that bigger cluster. 
can sometimes see like the opening in fact yeah, I feel like has a but, yeah it is but it nothing comes out of it and it's just like it's almost like a pore it's like the I guess since it's the oil gland it comes from it's like that pore oh, right the sebaceous that unit how the sebaceous unit then you like to put your incision through that I, I well sometimes okay. I, that's off culture I just don't do anything with it and I don't find that it comes back in that area mm. I think it's just it's not actually like a cyst where it, the wall forms around it it's just right. where it like kind of is associated with I don't know but that again is all in my mind you know I make those things up from just experience of doing that can you grab another little bit more gauze I think I used all that thank you Jen Jenna has done some of these. She's newer with me. She's done some of these, but you haven't done any of that or of this that bigger like this, huh? No, yeah. But you do like this stuff too. Yeah. She's okay. Yeah. This is not Yes. Guess you have to like it. <laughs> but I myself am not a big hmm. like I didn't have to pin that I don't I didn't chase down my patients and try to like take out their blackheads or anything. I'd be like, Oh yeah, you have a it's called a dilated poor one, are you okay? But now I'm like Cancel my afternoon. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. It's not pinching you? Okay. Mm -hmm. My favorite is when I'm doing a skin check and they have a big oh. one on their oh. back. And I'm like, yes. Well, you have to video those. <laughs> one of these days you can. Oh, so you are a papa. So you're getting you're getting your kicks off with this. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. She is. I'll be watching. That is my phone you're recording, not yours, right? <laughs> not saving that for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Is it hereditary? My, my dad and my uncle have some of these. Yeah, these are, these can be like autosomal dominant. They can run in families kind of thing. But there's different like, um, different uh, sever levels of severity. You might yeah. notice someone has much fewer of them. My uncle has a lot. Yeah. See how it's just a cluster. It's mm -hmm. really, there's a couple of them under here. And you know the sac, you can it just look it doesn't look like regular skin. It's like no, a, yeah. See how it's like that bladder. I feel like I, that's how I described it, but I've never really seen the bladder like that. So maybe that's in my mind what I say. I'm just trying to get it cleaned out. That's all. Yours have like surprise little edges to it. Let me tell you. Mm. In what way? What does that mean? I mean, like, there's a little, like, like they're like this little clusters that are saved in there, and they just, sometimes when I squeeze a little more, a little bit more pops out, you're like, oh, that was a little surprise. Oh. Getting it on there. Make sure I'm there. Let me just cover this again here. And we're going to do this one, and then this one, and then probably the big one under here, okay? And, mm -hmm. I, and then I'm going to have you take a look. I think you're going to be impressed. And then we'll see how those heal, okay? Yeah. Picture again, maybe. Okay. I'm doing more of them. You should thank uh, Dr. Lang here because I think I'm doing more because I think we haven't had some, we haven't had the best pops today. And she came so, so far, so I'm trying to make up for it with you. Mm. Go pop, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of stabilize that one with my fingers. This one's a little bit more dried up, I think. I can feel it, it's under there. This is like a little threatening volcano right here, I think. Mm. Hold on. I feel it under my fingers, but I can't. I think I have it through and through. Ah, it's stuck to me. See, it's like actually right here. You can mm -hmm. this whole area here. So let me just put a little more numbing just so I can kind of feel. So sometimes I'll pinch up just so that I can get it between my fingers so I know I'm going through that right. area. Nothing else. Put it back here. This 
hear sound in my phone or something? Is someone talking? I wonder if it's my phone. Oh, it might be it is. I'll turn it off. It's okay. Don't worry, you're fine. Somebody's talking to us. Are you sure we're not FaceTiming somebody? <laughs> Do you think you are? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe it is. Okay. There's something under there. What the heck? You got like a... Maybe there's a diamond in here. <laughs> if it is, I get dibs. <laughs> I mean, there's something under there. Yeah, kind of. Like like grapes. Yeah. Yep. You, uh, uh, it's like I, you know, mm. I think I'm a very visual. Okay, oh, safety and dermatologist. I'm mm. a very visual person, but I imagine there's like a cluster under there with like a little stem, like grapes, like. Interesting. Like the grapes, like kind of like more grapes that grow on the vine that like mm. you make wine from, like the little. And they're just like or like kelp. That's what I say. They look. You're gonna be popular. You might have to pay. You could probably make some. You know what? You'll make mm -hmm. more money. Send your partner to the casino. Mm -hmm. You'll make more money here charging admission. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> There's still maybe a small one under here. I think. Sometimes I tell. Sometimes with my patients who like doing, they don't bother them. They'll like go and take a, sh when they take a shower, they'll kind of massage some of these and they'll, some more will kind of, I don't think that'll happen here and nor do I think you have to do that because I know you don't love this, but I do feel there's something, another bump under here, maybe we're just getting it. Just doesn't want to come up. Well, no, there's just a, was a mold and one right there. And they were like on top of each other. I actually think I did maybe get them, but it's hard for me to, obviously I could do it if I made a big cut, but I'm trying to yeah. avoid that. So yeah. I'm trying to get, so I'm just saying like, I'm gonna give you an antibiotic thing. Just, you don't even have to take it. It's more like Murphy's Law. Like we're gonna just try to ensure that it doesn't get inflamed. If it does, I wanna know about it. Sure. And the sack, I think. If I can get a little bit or all of the sack, that makes me feel a little better. Okay, that should be good. Let's see, I say that and then that happens and a little bit more pops out from the side. You know what's like if you play poker? It's like a check raise. You know check raises? Mm -hmm. When you go around the table and you bet and you just check, which means you put the base dollar amount and then Everybody somebody else raises and then you raise after them. Oh. It's like you're, you have a check raise, if that makes sense. That's See, analogy. The gambler. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like you're like, this thing is like, oh yeah, right. You think you got me? Well, I'm going to check raise you. Because yeah. it's going to like pop out a little bit something from the side. Okay, I've got those. So I'm gonna do this one and then that one. We're good, okay? Two more. Let's take a little break. She's got. We do? Oh, okay, good. Um, I think we already brought the picture back. Oh, okay. If you wanna show me a picture, I might be able to help you decide what to prepare. Okay. Thank you. There's two here. Sorry, I'm a little behind and I hate being behind, so I'm just trying to help. You're really missing out on all the enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm happy you're happy. That's mm -hmm. good. I'm just... Well, I'm going to be happy when you see this. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to be. And that's the best, actually, the best part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get to Thank be part you. Of that. Can you feel the release, though, sometimes? You know how like, you can kind of feel them yeah, squeezing bit, out? Yeah. So that should hopefully make you feel. some chips and send them on his way oh, to get busy. Get those candles ready. <laughs> <laughs> those candles, yeah. They're so crazy. They're so crazy. Yeah. 
Do you know that one reminded me just now? I had a patient who canceled her, her, her mom came in for you. Okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, came because she actually blew her nose re more recently and a tapeworm came out of her nose. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? What she happened? She showed me the picture and I was like, oh my gosh, can I take a picture of that? How did that? <laughs> How did that happen? She had, she was, I, I think was she, she might have been in Mexico or maybe she wasn't, but I don't know. I was like, did you eat something? Did you right. travel or something? But she had it, but she was sick and she was blowing her nose and something came out of her nose and oh, she asked her daughter, God. I know you'd be so gross. That could be over for you if you were <laughs> someone around you. But like, you can't be my friend anymore. <laughs>